Hey, what's up, homeboys and girls? Uh, all right, so today we're going to start um, putting in the uh, framing around around all of the windows and stuff. Um, cut. Screwed that one up. Hey, what's up, guys and girls? So today on CNS Schooler Project, we are going to be putting in our wall and window framing. And what we've done is Hey, what's up guys and girls? So today, this week, we're going to be putting in our wall and window framing um, so that we can start building out the interior of the bus. I'm using these Tex two and three quarters inch self-drilling screws. They're wood to metal screws. They got a flat head on them and we're gonna see how self-drilling they are. These freaking tech screws are making this job so much easier. Um, all I'm doing is I'm just clamping these two by twos just to make sure that it's held down. And then I'm gonna take this uh, 3 16th inch drill bit. I'm just gonna go right through the wood and that's it and I'm doing it primarily I'm doing it where my hat channels are because this is thicker metal than this but on the ends over here I am going to go ahead and just put one on the end to keep it from lifting or anything like that so we'll start with the end here and really these are self tapping by the way so I'm just going to go in hold it down that's how fast it is. It takes a little bit longer to get through this thicker metal, but these tech screws are freaking amazing. I'll put a link down in this description for you. And I mean, that ain't going nowhere. one on the end. One's on the end again go in a lot easier so
plug on battery right here on. Guys, now what we're doing is we're putting in the top, uh, the top piece of wood. So for this, we're doing a two by four. What are you doing, eating my wood up like that for? Huh? This ain't your home. This ain't your home. Go on now. Go on. You old crazy looking bee. And I'm gonna bring it just to the bottom of this, this emergency window, making sure to leave about an inch. You can see here that I'm gonna have plenty of space there for a, uh, a little shelf or whatnot. And I'll just have to, it'll just have to be routed around this window right here. And then just conform to the edge of that window. But yeah, so I'm just screwing right into the hat channels just like I did with the bottom. So let me just show you how I figured out the best way to do this. Because I want this whole thing to be level, right? I want it to be level to the window so that when you when I put my my top piece on, whatever I'm putting on there, that it's gonna be it's gonna sit flat and straight and true. And you're not gonna see a weird looking line, you know going down the windows. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to my very farthest end and I measured 29 inches from the floor to the top and I screwed it in, all right? And then I'm going to the other end and I'm measuring 29 inches up and then I'm screwing it in. But then when I get here in the middle, lo and behold, it's uh, it's 29 and a quarter. So I'm a quarter inch off. So I just went and I cut this, basically this little jig right here, this piece of wood, and I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna put it right here and I'm gonna hammer it. hammer it in, you can see that piece of wood going up. So now I'm going to check it. We need a little bit more. I'm going to check it. And now we're at 29 and a half. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to put my, my screws in the middle. And that is going to get...
Good. Hey, what's up YouTube? Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Um, if you liked what you saw, please uh, give it a thumbs up. I wanted to show you guys real quick what uh, kind of what we what we did. Show you the the um, the end result here. And I ignore ignore this stuff over here. This is a future video. But yeah, there's our our kind of our interior wall system. Um, we put. We've got five different connection points here. We've got a two by two, which runs all the way down both sides of the bus uh, that uh, sits up against the floor that's uh, screwed into the wall. Then we've got a two by two that runs on top of the lip, the old famous schooly, school bus lip here. And then we've got our two by three uh, studs that go up our hat channels and then we've got a 2x4 which runs under the windows all the way down and then we've got a, another 2x2 two two that runs up top uh, that's going to give us a sort of a wire chase at, at the very end and well hey there buddy that'll run as a or, or act as a wire chase um, for uh, for a little box that'll fit up in here there'll be some storage and also to give us access to our wires uh, we want to also say that you know we didn't use any pressure treated wood um, in the bus we're trying to stay away from any chemically uh, enhanced stuff um, some things you have to kind of use them for example you see all that white spray foam that I put in the wheel well uh, back there um, you know I can we kind of had to do that but uh, for the most part we're gonna go we're going for a chemical free environment like a lot of people do it's not a you know a big deal or anything but it's just um, when you're in a confined space like this you have to make sure that you are uh, mitigating your your risk for you know any kind of particulates or asthma creating um, things so anyway with that said um, yeah that's kind of what we did we got we, we have five anchor points um, for cabinetry or walls or um, you know really anything that we want to attach uh, we, we can attach to and we have five different points from the from the bottom to the top so uh, we just want everything to be extremely solid um, and we want the bus to last for a long time so anyway uh, We'll end the video here, and we, again, thank you, and uh, please um, subscribe to the channel and give us a like and a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys, we'll see you guys next week with some more content. All right. Hey, thank you all.